Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today's video is a little bit different. Today I'm taking a look at the vidIQ platform. Uh, what's vidIQ? It's a platform great for, especially for small YouTubers uh, like myself. It definitely helps me out uh, when it comes to creating new content with uh, keyword research and all that uh, cool stuff you have to do before you post a video. So when you install the extension, first thing you see up here, we do have the vidIQ icon, which uh, gives you some YouTube shortcuts to go to your dashboard videos and all that stuff. And also we get these, uh, this information up here as well. Uh, we can see like some of the views, watch time and subscriber count if you want to display that as well. And down here we have like some of the shortcuts again for the vidIQ platform like competitors, trend alerts, most viewed, channel audit. Keyword Inspector, which is a must. Achievements, vidIQ Academy, which I've actually, I'm gonna show that after as well. So the first thing that I do when I make a video is after, before uploading or anything, first I wanna find the right keyword to put in my video so I can at least slowly start ranking for it. So let's say I wanna create a video about a gaming PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And uh, right now I can see on the right hand side here the overall score is medium. So the reason here which I do not like the gaming PC keyword is the competition is way too high. Uh, definitely like for a smaller channel like mine it's uh, just gonna get buried in, at the bottom and uh, never be seen. The volume is great but only if the competition was lower. So let's now I want to find something a little bit different. So gaming PC, uh, let's just go best gaming uh, PC for 2020. So let's see if this uh, gives us some better results. So volume, so this one definitely we don't want to go after either because we see the volume is like at the zero, competition is medium. Although competition is not bad, but there's no volume. Not many people are searching for this. Since that keyword is not good either, I'm gonna go ahead and search for gaming PC 2020 and uh, let's see what kind of results we get now. So this is actually not bad. So we get a volume of 61 and competition is medium. We definitely like would love if it was on the green, uh, that would be so much better for us. But if you're creating some topic against this, uh, you can go a little bit deeper, like uh, best gaming PCs 2020. We searched that, that wasn't so good. So you have to do a little bit research to get the right keyword that you want. So right now we're looking at this keyword. So now let's see the, if it's still relevant. Um, let's just go pick a random video here. Let's click this one here. So now we're gonna get a little bit more information. So the main thing which I look for uh, right away when I look at this is views per hour. Although we see like this video got 190,000, like almost 200,000 views, but it's like that when it was uploaded, how long did it take? But this is what we wanna see, 171, 0.8 views per hour. So this is still like people are still searching for this, which is amazing to see because it will give us an idea, go for something like this. And let's say I wanna like grab some keywords that this person is using on this video. I can go ahead and grab them straight from here. You can like uh, download or even see it, or copy to clipboard, which I like to do. And we can see all the keywords that are being used here. I would pick the ones that are more relevant and a little bit more long tail keywords. Uh, long tail meaning it's like, for example, like this one, $700 gaming PC guide, instead of just saying like PC. So that's a long tail keyword. So you wanna kind of pick the longer ones there. And uh, so let's just go ahead and look at the history here. So we can, let's see if this is, this keyword is still like climbing. As we can see down here, it's still the views per hour are going up, which is great for us. Like if we're going for a video like this, the views per hour are going up. Uh, that means uh, it's still relevant and uh, people are still searching for this. And views have been just growing. So that's exactly what we wanna see here. And let's say you want to see what's trending towards like this topic. You would just click on the trending line here just so you can get some more ideas like and also like 
this shows some uh, very high views per hour as well as you can see this all these crazy views per hour so these are like very very good to go and look at and see what keywords they're using and then after you get all these keywords what you want to do is go to your youtube studio if you've uploaded the video already so i'm just gonna pick a random video that i have uploaded recently here so i'm gonna go ahead and click edit so right now i have been using this uh, keyword for this video so best gaming chair 2020 so this uh, was recommended here and it's it tells me put the keyword in your title put the keyword in your description and also the keyword on the tags here because you want the, your keyword everywhere pretty much and uh, also the cool thing is recommended tags so it's giving me ideas here what tags i can just go ahead and click the plus button and it will add them up for me up there and let's say i want to go ahead and click this keyword here and see how well is this performing if it's a competition if it's good or bad so this is the other cool thing which i love using is the keyword research part of uh, vidIQ here so if i'm looking at best gaming chair 2020 I can see here it's being searched a lot and also the competition is low too so over time my video will be going up which which i hope <laughs> doing all these steps uh definitely it should help out because you can already see what's working what's not working and then just pick keywords straight from here pretty much and all you need to do is click the plus button it will be added automatically to your tags so after you've gone ahead and added that you've did your research and all everything there you want to go ahead and i like this part here as well let's say i'm clicking preview here on the game like i'm typing gaming chair and i can see here i mentioned gaming chair here and then gaming chair is also mentioned in the description you want it at the top uh, that's what you want the description to go to and also this will give us an idea how our thumbnail compares to other people especially like look at the first one here i would like would you rather click that or click mine or click the third one so it will give you a little bit more of an idea i need to work on my thumbnail as well because thumbnail is kind of like key sometimes because it gets people to click on it on the vidIQ academy it tells you like what works what doesn't uh, i've been kind of following that since uh, I have vidIQ and I can uh, see after a few months if I'm getting that increase or not. The other thing that we see here is best time to publish on your channel. So this will change like over time as you start uploading it will give you more of an idea when is the best time for you to upload. Let's say you're uploading on a Monday it's telling me at 3 a.m. is my 3 and 9 a.m. are my best upload dates. So that's why I've kind of started uploading at 9 a.m. Probably you've seen my videos at 9 a.m. <laughs> You're getting the notifications. So that is the reason because I've been following uh, this thing here because it's telling me overall upload at 9 a.m. And I've been doing that. So right now you can see here it's changing at 12 p.m. Because one day I uploaded at a different time and it's also looking at my previous video, how many views I got and all that stuff. And I'm gonna keep on looking at this and see what's the best time for me to actually upload my videos and to publish them. So right now down here we see this uh, scorecard. So tag count, we have tag volume, keyword in title, keyword in descriptions, tripled keyword, performance. So this is after you've uploaded the video, it will give you more information. So you can even go back after you've uploaded your video and make some changes here if needed and checklists so at least one card to the video so this is a little bit uh, like closed caption on like monetization reply to a recent comment all that stuff so it will give you that checklist just to make sure you're at 100 percent so you kind of want to get as close as to 50 as possible here uh the closer you are the better your chances are for you for your keyword to rank and all that so always uh, keep an eye on this so it just this is will make sure you have everything needed when before publishing your video and down here so also we have some more suggestions uh for example your next gaming chair so i can go ahead and take a look at these uh, keywords that are being used let's say i like something from here i can just go ahead and click the plus and it will be added straight to my keywords 
And the numbers that you see here, you this is the overall score. So it's uh, taking into account like the keyword volume, competition and all that stuff. And you wanna pick the scores here. So that kind of concludes the part where you know what video you're gonna upload, what topic and how to do the research. And it's pretty much uh, after this, every time it just it's going to be easier for you because you don't have to do too, too much research without these tools. It's like you're gonna have to find all these manually. Then let's say you're searching for something. You don't know if it's uh, like how many views per hour it's getting so that's why i love this like the keyword research part and the views per hour are like so important to me like when i'm like doing my research here so those are the two things which i love so the other thing uh, which i haven't really gotten into too much is competitors so on the left hand side here so we see competitor trend alerts most views channel audit achievements and vidiq academy again so if i so let's go ahead and click the trend alerts here so here you're able to create your first alert uh, when whenever it detects that a key like a keyword is uh, like is climbing up, it will give you an alert, which is very cool. So this is a uh, let's say gaming here, and I want to put like gaming PC, gaming PC 2020, and gaming PC. So I have those keywords in there and uh, category, let's go ahead and pick uh, technology here if it's in there and yep. And this is the cool thing. So threshold, so views per hour. Let's say I want this over a thousand, so that's good. And it will keep on checking. So each week or you can have it like every day so it can email. So create an alert. And that's it. So gaming. So you got that alert going. So it will keep track of it, of like how many views it's getting, if it's going up, all that stuff. And it will give you an alert, which is very cool. For my channel at the moment, this doesn't really work because I'm not really going after trends. It's like I'm going, uh, it's like tech product after track, like different tech products. So, but it's great if you're doing a, a video where, where you need something that's trending, this will give you that. And if I go under most viewed here, so this will give me an idea of what's the most viewed video. And uh, this is like very good uh, because if you want to see what's being most viewed and it's like this is 24,000 per hour this is being viewed. So this is like amazing. So you kind of like if you want to like research for a topic this is great because you can just go here and see what's like being searched right now and this is uh this week uh if i go past 48 hours th so this can help us jump on that bandwagon and uh, get our views up there as well so this is a great research as well and as you can see here everything is like over 4,000, 13,000. i don't know what the video is looks and uh, yeah and you're able to click on the filters here as well which I'm not going to click there and uh, country as well so let's say I want to go United States because it picked Canada automatically for me so it should be a little bit different definitely different uh, if you see the 185,000 views per hour that is like crazy and all these topics are being searched so definitely make sure you're changing the country. Uh, most likely you wanna, depending on where you want your video to rank for, uh, just so you can do that topic research and jump in that bang bag and where you can possibly get some views for your trending video. So right now I wanna go into the VidIQ Academy. This has some great courses. So let's just go ahead and click continue here. It has some cool courses, which I've, uh, you can see here, I've looked at. Uh, the most I liked is the how to use vidIQ, the complete guide. Uh, it tells you like how to create like the thumbnails, what thumbnails work. And it just, it's not like create your thumbnails and without information, it's like gathered. They have a lot of stats, like or like 30, 40,000 people, uh, which they have collected what's working and what's not working. It's like what color should your thumbnail be and all that stuff so this is the other cool thing is if we go to the vidIQ platform this is another some other stats that we see 
Usually I don't come here because I have all the stats on YouTube, like it already shows me everything there. But this is a little bit more visual here. Uh, we can see definitely like more males on my channel than females here and the age gap. And this also will give you like, let's say you're gonna do some advertising for your YouTube channel. You can see like some of the age groups where your videos are being viewed from and also best time to post so this is again so it's taking into account and looking at all the dates here and a little bit more information down here and all that cool stuff so if i go under videos so i can make changes directly from here to my videos and from here you're able to make changes directly from here to your videos so let's say i click on this video here and click edit I'm able to add tags and uh, change the description, just like for what I did actually. So this is another cool thing. So if I go back here, if I go to my videos and click these uh, three videos, let's say, and if I go under the vidIQ icon here, mass edit videos. So I did this the other day and I can just go ahead and load three videos here click next and if I go ahead and I'm ready to make changes oh so I didn't make the changes so let's say I want to add that subscribe button to all my videos I can just go ahead and click like paste the link here and I can just go next and I'm ready to make my changes so it makes it makes the changes to all those videos you don't have to go like one by one which is another cool thing this does mass edits on carts and end screens especially like if you have a channel where you have so many videos like older videos which do not have like cards or end screens you can just go ahead and do it straight from here which is really good so going back to the vidIQ platform again so same thing here we we're able to make all those changes and it's going to recommend some keywords as well in here but i usually just tend to do it on the youtube side it's a little bit more cleaner i think and it's better but if you prefer this you can definitely make changes here and it will push the changes to your youtube so the next tab which i'm looking at is the seo so this is a very important especially if you're a smaller youtube channel it's definitely you want to do a lot of SEO search engine optimization for your videos because your videos don't show up just on YouTube also show up on Google search and all that so you want to really optimize your video and even if you're a bigger channel if you're doing this it's even better but uh, this is like very beneficial if you're smaller you kind of have to do all these uh, smaller tasks before you kind of publish a video or else it's not going to go anywhere so we have some bulk seo so you're able to add some recommended tags here and you can just add it right away from here which is good and it's kind of showing me some older videos here which i haven't been optimizing before uh, it's not showing me the latest videos which is a good thing because uh, those ones I've been using the vidIQ to put everything in that's needed. So keyword research. So let's see how this works. Uh, gaming PC. So we're going to do the same thing we did in uh, Google. I mean YouTube. And let's see here. So competition score. That's too high. So definitely if you find something like under 40. Like definitely go for it. But anything like over 60, 70, I would, if you're a smaller channel, I would not suggest it. Just start like looking for keywords that kind of like make more sense, which are a little bit long tail keywords. Like even this, like this is like very high, uh, although it's like a long tail keyword. So you kind of want to do your research before you post anything. And under tags added, we have another section here. It's going to tell you which tags have been added. So we don't really need that. I know this video was a little bit longer than expected, uh, but definitely I will be making another video showcasing exactly what happened after a few months of using uh, the vidIQ here. And uh, just to see if my videos are ranking up. Like what happens with my videos after one, two months, they start like going up. So I look forward to doing another part two about the vidIQ. Uh, I just wanna thank uh, vidIQ team for providing me the vidIQ platform to review. And uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you're new here, 
click that subscribe button and uh, turn the notifications on for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time.